Hi everyone! Looks like we already have some wonderful folks tuning in. I am Hannah Phillips. I'm a music therapist with Beata Hospice and we would typically have a team of us put together um, special services for our veterans and certainly for those who died serving this country. Um, but I am a one-man band today, a one-man show. So um, I thank you so much everyone for, for joining. Hi everyone for joining us today. And I say us because a, a lot of our Bayada team is tuning in um, from out of state and across the country as well from what I'm told. So I can't wait to see them pop on. Um, but certainly this is a really important holiday to remember and I'm grateful for all those that I work with and, uh, and those that I usually do these services with um, to do this work. So just want to give a couple, just one or two more minutes for more people to pop on to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing today. We are, um, the first half will be a tribute a service um, for Memorial Day and for our veterans and those who uh, lost their lives in while serving. Um, and then when we close the service part, then we are going to move into also uh, music just to help give you an uplifting vibe to get into enjoying your Memorial weekend and um, while keeping in remembrance of certainly those that make it possible to enjoy this weekend ahead. So looks like we have, hi everyone. Great to see you all. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, those just tuning in, my name is Hannah Phillips and I am the music therapist with Beata Hospice. And I just want to thank everyone so much for joining me today to remember the many brave men and women who have given their lives through the history of our country to protect us from danger and harm. We remember all those who sustained injury in mind and or body in the course of their service. We salute all those who served in the military. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her. This is so special to all be together, uh, even in this way, in some ways it feels even more extra special. We are hoping to reach our veterans and the families and loved ones of those whose lives have been lost through service. Um, but we're hoping by all of us coming together that they feel honored, respected, and remembered, and that we can remind them that we don't take this for granted. We don't take our freedom each and every day for granted and we certainly won't take it for granted this weekend. As many people, this is a time I think that a lot of folks look forward to every year. Uh, it kind of jump starts the summer, first time to have gatherings with families or go to the beach um, and certainly things are a little different this year. So if you're not able to do the normal Memorial Day weekend activities you usually would, um, 
I hope that this will help to kind of lift your spirits and let you know that wherever you are, even if you're not doing um, the exact things you would have loved to be doing, I hope that this will encourage you to find a way to adapt to the weekend and make it just as special and, um, and treasured as you would have before. If we can, uh, as we move forward in this service, I'd like for us all to, um, to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. And if you have a flag nearby, or you can use certainly the one behind me, uh, but we'll put our right hands over our hearts and we'll speak this together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangle banner yet wave or the have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He has trampled out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. We've seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps. They builded him an altar in the evening dews and dams. I have read the righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. His truth is marching on. Sing along. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Sounded forth his trumpet that shall never call retreat. He's sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, be answer him, be jubilant, my feet. Our truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is. Marching on. I see a lot of you are singing along. PBH is singing along. Thank you. So glad. So just for anyone tuning in uh, just now, just wanted to welcome you so much to our Memorial Day tribute and also serenade. So our first half 
we are wanting to do everything we can to recognize and remember not only our veterans, but those who lost their lives while serving this country and protecting our freedoms. So um, I have a, we are coming to you through Beata Hospice and specifically our Boyertown office this week. Our last live fee was um, through one of our other offices, through media. Um, but today we are coming through our Boyertown office. So shout out to them. I see they were singing along. And also we um, have folks all across the country from our Beata offices tuning in. And um, this is really special to see everyone's names popping up and to find ways to keep coming together to just do whatever we can to honor and thank our veterans. Um, so there'll be more music coming up. For now, I would like to share something that I think is so special. Quite the lead up. Sorry for that long pause. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the America's White Table. There's other names for it as well, the Round Table. Um, but for those that don't know about it, I will show you the setup I have here. And I just want to take a minute and um, show it to you, but also let you know that you can find more information about this online. It's something that restaurants have done on Memorial Day where at their restaurants they'll set up a table and there's very specific items in a very specific setup, um, all representing our, our veterans who have lost their lives, but also um, very specific details as a way to remember them. So I will go through that. Um, but out throughout all of this service, if there's anything that anybody would like information on, you can reach out to Bayada Hospice um, or you can reach out to myself, myself Hannah Phillips. So I'm going to turn so you can see this setup. And I'll be reading about it um, while off screen. But thank you so much for being here and uh, for taking the time to remember our veterans. Um, and I do want to tell you that the America's White Table was created uh, during the time of the Vietnam War, um, but it has been since then has been adopted for all services and branches um, and now covers for all the wars. So we just wanted to, from the bottom of our hearts, just take this time to be in the moment of remembrance. So this table honors the men and women who served in America's armed forces and are missing, unaccounted for, and were or are prisoners of war. The table is typically round to show our everlasting concern for our missing men. The small table symbolizes one soldier's lonely battle against many. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single red rose displayed in the vase reminds us of the life of each of the missing and the loved ones and friends of the Americans who keep the faith awaiting answers. The yellow ribbon on the vase represents the yellow ribbons worn on the lapels of the thousands who demand with unyielding determination a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us today. The black napkin is a reminder of the isolation, deprivation, and cruel fate of our missing. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith 
to sustain those lost from our country, founded as one nation under God. A candle at the table represents the light in our hearts that accompanies the hope that they will one day find their way home. The empty chair, tilted against the table, is for missing soldiers and symbolizes a place is always waiting for them when they return. A slice of lemon on the bread plate is to remind us of the bitter fate of those captured and missing. A pinch of salt symbolizes the tears endured by those missing and the tears shed by their families who seek answers. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share in this toast today. And we say you are not forgotten so long as there is one left in whom your memory remains. Thank you very much. Sure appreciate all of your comments, and I really appreciate you staying in the moment with me uh, as we as we go through our memorial tribute today. We are hoping this will be a way that we can also reach our veterans and the families of our fallen heroes. Um, so through all of your comments, feel free to keep sharing love and appreciation directly to them and they may see that as, as hopefully this gets shared. I'd like to invite everyone to sing along with me.
I'm so sorry. I knew this was going to happen. I have someone knocking at my door, so I hope they'll find out later. I'm sorry I'm not answering. Um, but if you'll sing with me, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies, America the Beautiful. Not, there's more songs coming up. <laughs> I would like to share a poem for you next. This poem is written by Jean Howard and it's titled When I See a Flag Draped Coffin. When I see a flag-draped coffin of a vet whose life is done, I think about our freedom that they have fought and won. I wonder if we love and support our vets enough today for the terrible price that each one has had to pay. Do we really remember them on Memorial Day, or is it just a time for picnics and a time to play? When the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag is spoken, do we really think of all the families that were broken? Broken that old glory may fly freely over this land, yet some came back with no welcome of a band, no parade or crowd to welcome them back home, feeling like no one cared and they were all alone. This veteran cannot hear you as you speak today, but the next time you meet a vet along the way, tell them you appreciate them and all that they do and that you are proud to fly the red, white, and blue. my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause a flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. Say 
Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, to New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Who died, who gave that right to me? I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. And I'm proud to be an American. Who at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget those who died. God bless the USA. And absolutely thank you, soldiers. Thank you to what everyone is writing. And every time you like it, it looks like fireworks are going up my screen. So that's exciting. That's wonderful. So those that are just tuning in, I'm Hannah Phillips. I am the music therapist with Bayada Hospice. And we are coming to you from all of Bayada Healthcare, and specifically from our Boyertown office. Um, usually there's a team of us that put together services, but today it is just me from my home um, with the team support behind me. So many are tuned in here today, and we really don't take this lightly. We are honored to provide pinning ceremonies to veterans throughout the year. We are honored to provide thanks to their caregivers, their spouses, their families, and we get to hear their stories. We get to just be in their presence, and it's always so powerful. So it's always emotional for me because I think of all of the men and women who we've had the honor of working with who serve this country and who took that vow that they would do whatever it took without hesitation to keep us all safe. So I just thank you all for taking the time today to remember them and to, in your way, coming together to thank them. And um, we will, I will be closing the service with a prayer. Um, and after that, we're going to move into the serenade part of today. and. Uh, we can take requests maybe, but i um, just wanting to give you some summertime or Memorial Day weekend vibe songs because we are certainly best able to thank those who gave the ultimate sacrifice by remembering and reflecting, but also by enjoying our freedoms. That is what this is about. So I'd like to close with a prayer and then we will uh, move into just some music to keep our our hearts uh, uplifted during this time and just to keep us coming together so if you feel moved to and if you're okay to do so um, I'd like to just close with a prayer Heavenly Father on this Memorial Day 
We pray for those who courageously lay down their lives for the cause of freedom. May the example of their sacrifice inspire in us the selfless love of your Son. We lift the hearts of those for whom this holiday is not just diversion, but painful memory and continued deprivation. Bless the families of our fallen troops and fill their homes and their lives with your strength and peace. We remember with compassion and heartfelt thanks those who have died serving their country. Please, Lord, bring your peace and mercy to our troubled world and to all of our hearts. We ask this in your name. Amen. To anyone tuning in today that is a veteran yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your service and for your sacrifices and for your bravery. And those tuning in that have loved ones who are veterans, please send them love for us. And all those tuning in that have lost a loved one in their, in their mission to do such good and to make this world better for all of us. With them on your hearts, we are thinking of you and we thank you. Oh, I see Chestnut Knoll is here, Bayada is here, some families here, Palmerton. Thank you all so much. Keep those uh, positive, wonderful patriotic posts flowing. And I think to get us into our next portion of today, ah, I have a couple songs in mind. We might jump around here a little bit, so please bear with me. But this is, I love this song. This is a great song. Called City of New Orleans, Willie Nelson. Just have to pull it up. Sorry, folks. How's everyone doing? You all doing okay? I know that um, to take this, to take a half an hour and um, to put everything else aside, to be in a moment of remembrance um, is emotional, but we're doing it together. And thank you for being here with me. It's emotional for me. Um, but I hope you all are doing wonderful where you are. And, um, and I'll try to catch, if any song requests come up, I'll try to catch them. To let you know as I'm pulling this up, if times continue where we need to do virtual videos um, to try to reach our veterans or to reach our clients or just to reach all of you and reach each other, um, if 4th of July comes, I, I think it's safe to say we would be doing something like this again and I have other songs in mind for that. Um, the that ragged old flag with uh, Johnny Cash. I love that version, so I thought I might save that for Fourth of July. But so if, as as times come up, feel free to check back in and see if we'll be doing more uh, videos like this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Karen. 
fun Allison all right I thought next I should pull some songs up from oh you know throughout the different time periods of the different wars so World War one song came to mind that I thought is appropriate for these times and I have always one of the things I love so much about music and especially music from like the 40s, 20s to the 40s, is how magical that music is, but how it so very much gave people hope and strength and, um, and a sense of joy while going through you know, the Great Depression or going through war and just, oh my gosh, horror. The horrible things that that life brings but music is such a huge part of the light at the end of that tunnel so um, I've always just really cherished doing what I do especially working with veterans and um, and just hearing what their favorite songs have been songs that, that we do that takes them back to uh, good feelings um, but just the stories and and parts of their life that they share with us just a little tidbit I wanted to share <laughs> But this song is a cute, cute song. I have been singing this song in a very, 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 very long time. Let me get a different key here. Sorry. Troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smiles, boys. That's the style. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles. 
troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. So everyone has to put on the biggest smile you got right now. And put those troubles in an old kit bag. Well, pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, boys, that's the style. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Smile, smile, smile. Smile, smile, smile. Thank you, Amanda. We're so blessed to have you on our team. My Aunt Sally and Uncle Butcher are tuning in. Hi. Allison, thanks for that smile. Amanda, thanks for saying PBH is all smiles. I am so glad. I'm so, so glad. I'm feeling all smiles too. So that was from World, World War I. This song is from the Andrew Sisters during World War II. sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me anyone else but me anyone else but me oh no no don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me till i come marching home don't go walking down lover's lane with anyone else but me with anyone else but me so many of our amazing teammates from Bayada across the country. Mary Beth is now states away. This is so wonderful. Bayada Home Healthcare is here. Hi, thanks guys so much for tuning in. This is really fun to know that all of our different offices and branches are, are joining together in memory of our veterans and uh, our fallen heroes. So thank you. For anyone else tuning in, know that you can, this will all be posted on Facebook so you can go back. The first half hour was the, um, the tribute, was our Memorial Day service and um, had a little different tone. It was certainly um, just in great honor and respect for our fallen heroes and our veterans and for their families. Uh, and now this half of the hour we are just trying to keep upbeat and using music to help you get into the vibes for Memorial Day weekend and hopefully be able to celebrate um, in some way that helps to get your mind off of everything going on and gives that big bolt of rejuvenation that we need when we come out of winter and, and rainy spring to get ready for summer coming. I love spring, though I shouldn't talk about it saying it's rainy. I love spring so much. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's, I just hope that there's a lot of ways, uh, even if it's adapted, that everyone can use this weekend to 
just stay reflective, stay in remembrance, but also feel joy and and be able to just um, just have a, a good restart button. All right. I haven't seen any requests coming through, so you're being really easy on me. I have a bunch of other songs in mind here. We have about 15 more minutes. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I have a song for you that is related. The song is called In Color. And if you haven't heard it, um, written and performed by Jamie Johnson. It's a really wonderful, wonderful song that really helps to put uh, to put an image to the, the picture, to the stories that we hear. It helps to put a picture to that. Let me get my right key. There is nothing, oh my gosh, more, well, there's lots of powerful things in this world, but one powerful thing I love is when we see black and white pictures of our patients and their loved ones and if it's time from being in the service or their wedding day or just oh my gosh these pictures are amazing oh I see a request country road you got it girl we'll do that one next make sure I don't forget um, so this song is in color This picture here, it's all black and white And it ain't real clear, is that you there? He said, yeah, I was 11 And times were tough back in 35 That's me and Uncle Joe just trying to survive On a cotton farm in the Great Depression And if it looks like we were scared to death like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color And this one here was taken overseas in the middle of hell in 1943 In the winter time, you can almost see my breath That was my tail gunner Johnny McGee he was a high school teacher from New Orleans And he had my back through the day we left And if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Well, a picture's worth a thousand words But you can't That June and her rose was red and her eyes were blue and just look at that smile man I was so proud and that's the story of my life when you're there in black and white and if it looks like we were scared to death like a couple of kids It's 
all black and white And it ain't real clear Is that you there? He said, yeah, I was 11 I see Lutheran, Ho uh, Lutheran home You just chat up Suddenly I can't speak. I'm so sorry. But Lutheran Home, you just tuned in. Thank you so much. We're so glad you're here. We certainly um, want to let everyone know who's just tuning in that if you want to share the first half of this, the first 30 minutes, that was our Memorial Day tribute service. And uh, it's a, certainly a memorial service. So uh, if you want to use that for any of your folks, certainly for your veterans, um, this will be posted directly after this on Facebook. So this half is just helping to get us all pumped up for the Memorial Day weekend, even if we're not going to the beach or doing things that um, maybe some usually like to do. I'm more of a woods girl, but beach, a lot of people love the beach. Uh, so, oh, we had a request come in, Country Roads. Mary Beth Saint, thank you so much. Alicia, hi, you are awesome. Oh, that's okay, thank you so much. Karen, I'm glad you like that song, thank you. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, coming up here I see um, special friend Diane popped on and she thought of this song for me to sing a while ago and I love when people you know I have such wonderful friends they'll say hey you should learn this one or certainly with my patients and clients and co-workers songs come up um, I love to hear it so this one is a Tom Petty song and uh, I just love it and hadn't really listened to it in a long time 
So this song has kind of been um, a pillow, in a sense, for me through this time of COVID. Um, if I am feeling down, I love to just listen to it or to sit down and start playing it. So I'm going to do that one for you next. How's everybody doing? Keep singing. All right, I will. <laughs> Thanks, John. Welcome, John, from up north. Oh, I was just saying it's so awesome to see so many of our Bayada team um, from all over the country tuning in and um, from all our different offices and branches. This is so exciting. So, John, I wish you were on here playing your banjo and, um, and singing along. You're so fantastic. So thanks for joining us today. Those tuning in, make sure if you'd like to share the memorial service part, that was the first half an hour. Um, so this will be posted after words on Facebook and, um, and you can go back and, and take time in the remembrance part of, um, of our serenade today. So now we are just, oh, aloha from Hawaii. Aloha, Hawaii. Oh my goodness. This is exciting. Alice, you're getting choked up. <laughs> this is exciting. So this song, I just, it's been really important to me through all of this. So I hope you find a sense of comfort and get away as I do. Diane. Hi, Diane. Our patient is requesting hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Are you with who I think you're with? Oh, hi. We got, we got to do that one for you. We only ever, this isn't rehearsed or anything. We did this just together having fun. Wife says hi. I say hi to you too. Oh, I'm so excited you all are joining. I'm so excited. 
Let's talk this week. In fact, I'll call you right after this. Let me find a good key. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more What do you say? Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen I guess if you say so, I have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what do you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Now, baby. Baby, don't you treat me this way I'll be back on my feet someday Don't care if you do understand You ain't got no money, you ain't got no brain I guess if you say so I have to pack my things and go That's right, hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more oh, One more time, hit the road, Jack don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Don't you come back no more. <laughs> Thanks for requesting that one. Oh, that was exciting. Well, I just saw the time here, so we're going to do one more song. I'm going to let you guys decide. So I thought we could either do Squeezebox, Ramblin' Man, Proud Mary, I Got You, Babe, uh, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Or Don't Worry, Be Happy. Or Peaceful, Easy Feeling. Those are some songs I, saw, songs I thought of. So anyone have any requests for what to close with here? Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Squeeze box, proud Mary, I got you, babe. Don't worry, be happy. Otherwise, I'm going to pull one up. You got it, Diane. Courtesy of the red, white, and blue. So I just want to, again, as I'm pulling this up, just thank you all so, so, so much for joining me today. Doing these uh, live videos is is a new way for us to be able to try to reach each other and reach our our veterans, reach our families of our fallen heroes, to reach anybody um, who is willing to take some time and, and tune in here. So please share um, if you think there's someone that could benefit from just seeing all of you together, tuning in and being able to read the comments, um, or if they want to hear the music, or again, anyone tuning in, the first half was the memorial service with a, a different tone, so um, you can feel free to play that back too. Thank you to Beata. All across the country, all of our branches um, have been tuning in, and not just our offices, but our different branches up north, out west, and south. So thank you. So good to see you all. Again, my name is Hannah Phillips, and we're going to close with, as Diane requested, courtesy of the red, white, and blue. And if anybody has any questions or would like more information on the on the white table or on pinning ceremonies or on soul injury through Opus Peace, um, created by Deborah Grassman. Grassman. Uh, if anybody wants any information, please reach out to Beata Hospice. Um, 
any of our offices and we would love to do whatever we can to, to continue to show our veterans support every single day throughout the year. All right. American girls, American guys will always stand up and salute, will always recognize when we see your glory flying. There's a lot of men dead so we can sleep in peace at night when we lay down our head. My daddy served in the army where he lost his right eye, but he flew a flag out in our yard to the day that we died. And he wanted my mother, my brother, my sister and me to grow up and live happy in the land of the free. Now this nation that I love is falling under attack. Almighty sucker punch came flying in from somewhere in the back. Soon as we could see clearly through our big black eye, man, we lit up the world like the 4th of July. and get right to the chorus. Hey, Uncle Sam, put your name at the top of his list. And the Statue of Liberty started shaking her fist. And the eagle will fly, and there's going to be hell. When you hear Mother Freedom start a ring in her bell. And it feels like this whole wide world is raining down on you. much everybody for tuning in you make this weekend as special as it can be but absolutely in respect of all those fallen heroes and all of our veterans don't miss a day to thank them thank you everyone for tuning in see you next time